Haley, really good work by um, picking out some templates. And uh, I just got one suggestion so the client can, can judge the templates a little bit better. I suggest we um, not only take a screenshot of what's on screen, but scroll down, take another one, scroll down, take another one, and piece them all together. To show you um, an easy way to do that, um, I've taken some screenshots of this um, page. You know, I can get to there. So the next chunk down is another screenshot. I'll just open that right now. You know, this one. So I will select all and copy and close that and then paste it. And you probably know all this stuff, so forgive me. But um, then I'll just extend it and I'll change this. <clears throat> I'll change the layer, uh, the blending mode to like multiply or darken, something like that. And then just grab it, move it down, and I can line it up really easily that way. Sometimes I hit Command I really fast to do an inverse, and then I can see exactly where it needs to be lined up. <clears throat> zoom out, Command I again, change it from dark into normal, and then I go and I get the next chunk. Paste it in there again, go darken or multiply. I might again have to make my you know screenshot, if you will, taller. And then I can just figure out exactly where it needs to go by zooming in real fast. Oh, it looks like I didn't do a very good job because I don't have any reference material on this side. So hopefully on this side I have some lettering. I do, thank goodness. <laughs> I can line that up. And again, to confirm that it's a perfect alignment, I might, just for a split second, hit Command-I. Yep, that's looking good, okay. <clears throat> then change it back to normal. And then in the end, I'd flatten this all once I got all the parts and pieces in. And then I'd send that to the client um, as a flat. Oh, I'd probably um, do, once it's all together and, it, and I flattened it, you know, right here. I would then um, save for the web file. I, I do only key commands, so sometimes I don't know. Let's see. Save for the web. It's right over here. Command Option Shift S. Otherwise, it's known to save for the web. And then um, you can push it out as a JPEG, high quality. That would be fine. And then um, attach that to your email and that would be awesome okay thank you very much i hope you don't mind me making that suggestion